Good artists copy, great artists steal. Now when Steve Jobs said that, he wasn't talking about copying or plagiarising from others. What he was referring to was the concept of taking inspiration and ideas and using them as a starting point for your own original works. Often original creation is the combination of multiple different ideas and sources of inspiration all mashed together to create something new and original. Why am I telling you this? Because the same applies to marketing and marketing concepts and ideas. Rarely is a piece of marketing or an ad a completely brand new, unique concept or idea. It's generally the result of ideas and inspiration pulled in from other sources, at least as a starting point for that new marketing idea. In almost all cases, there was an inspirational starting point that the marketer used. Yet most new marketers, they just don't realize this. So often I talk to people who are trying to write their first Facebook ad or create their first landing page, sales page or email sequence. And the way they do it is they open up a blank Google Doc and they sit there and they try to start writing. And that is literally the most difficult way to do this thing. And when you're brand new, it's almost impossible. But it doesn't have to be that way. There are actually some amazing resources online that you can use to get these ideas and inspiration and these are my favorites. The first one is marketingexamples.com by Harry Dry. This website is brilliant. The reason I like this so much is because it's not just a collection of examples. Harry actually goes in and breaks down why things work and why they don't. You can literally come in here and look at ads, you can look at sales pages, you can look at landing pages, all sorts of different marketing materials. So no matter what you're looking for inspiration for, you can come in here and you can find it and you can actually get an understanding of why these particular things worked. Harry also has things on here where he shows uh, particular changes and shows before and after and explains why that change, what the change was and why it was so effective and more. So let's just take a quick look around here. You can see on the left, you've got all these different options. So if I choose ads, it's going to show me a bunch of different ads, not just digital, but also print as well. But I can click here and see how creative Google ad got an investor's attention. And we go through and it doesn't just show the ad, it explains what happened and the whole story behind it. Again, if I look at this signals Instagram ads, you can see here exactly what they did. And it also explains why they did it and what the result was and the thinking behind that. This applies to everything inside landing pages as well and all of the other different sections. So if you're creating a landing page, you can come here and click this, learn how to write a landing page title. It's going to show you real world examples. And as I mentioned before, you can see here the befores and afters that Harry has created to show you how you can improve your own landing page titles. And it goes even further than that. If you click on the copywriting tab now, this is a new feature. You can actually get little tutorials as well. So seven practical ways to write copy that converts. And it's very similar to what I just showed you with those headlines. It gives you a little tutorial and teaches you how to quickly and easily improve your copywriting, for example. 17 tips for great copywriting, another example of how you can view these little guides that will help you along the way. Now, another great source of ideas is my newsletter. If you're not on that already, make sure you click the link in the description and sign up for that. Each week I send out my best content, ideas, material, everything I'm thinking about, and it's the stuff that I don't share publicly. So if you enjoy my content and you're not on the newsletter, make sure you do that next. Cool, moving on to the second example now, and that is swipefile.com. This one's actually created by a copywriter named Neville Medora. Basically, this is a big collection of copywriting swipes. Now the term swipe just means a file that contains a bunch of examples of whatever it is we're talking about. So you might have an email swipe file where you keep all of the brilliant marketing emails that come into your inbox. It could be a landing page swipe or whatever. This website is a collection of all of that. Now it's a bit similar to marketingexamples.com, but this is more just swipe examples with a little comment versus the larger tutorials that you get on marketingexamples.com. So if you come here, you can see we've got all of the different sections at the top here. And they really do cover everything. You've got ads, headlines, outdoor advertising, packaging, uh, portfolio, print ads, profile photos. There's even a testimonial section. There's an absolute ton of stuff on here. So whatever you're trying to create marketing for, you can come here, click on it and have a look. So if we go to ads, you can see it's not just digital ads either. We've got some really old ads, some of the classics in here, a new set of adult toys from Dodge. We've got an old vintage car ad, can you afford not to own a Citroen? And again, what Neville does here is you can click it and you can see he's just got a little blurb down below to explain what it is and why it's special. Uh, so if we go back, so you can go and choose any section you want. You get a bunch of 
of examples here. Fantastic website, make sure you check it out if you need ideas and inspiration. All right, the next one to take a look at is Swiped.co. It's by a guy named Mike Shaw. Mike, apologize if I butcher that name. As the name suggests, it's basically a large swipe file and it's similar to the one we just saw, except this one you can search by niche. So you can choose any niche you want and you can also choose by type. So you can look at uh, banner ads, uh, celebrity checkout, classified ads, all sorts of different marketing materials. So similar to the one we just saw, you can select the type of material that you wanna create marketing around, whether it's a landing page, sales page, uh, print ad, email, whatever that is. But you can also choose the niche, which I really, really like. And something else they do on this site, if you do click on any of them, they have that same little blurb where they walk through and talk about why they chose that ad and what's kind of special about it. They also go through and highlight different sections. So you can see if we go back and we check out this ad here for anti-wrinkle cream, you can see they've highlighted the particular sections of interest and explained at the top why those sections are particularly interesting. So you can come here, look at these examples and see how you can take them and use them in your own advertising campaigns. Now you'll notice none of those contained a ton of Facebook or Instagram ads specifically. Some of them do contain those types of ads, but if you want Facebook and Instagram ads specifically, one of the best places to go is the Facebook ads library. So facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash library will get you here. Once you're here, it's really easy to use. Basically all you do is select the country that you want, or you can just choose all. And now there are two different options here when you search. So we choose all ads and you can either search for a particular Facebook page. If there's an advertiser whose ads you want to look at, let's say it's a competitor in the space or it's somebody who's uh, running the type of ads that you want to run to your market, you can simply type in the name of their Facebook page, click it and take a look. Now, the other way you can use this is you can actually type keywords. Most people don't realize this, but it's not just for searching out a Facebook page and looking at their ads. You can actually search for particular keywords. Let's type in one for sleep training. Hit enter. And that is going to bring up a bunch of examples of ads that have those keywords in them. So you can see there's one here when your baby won't sleep through the night and we can see we've got an example there. Now we can keep going and do this for days on end. But what I really want to get across here is when you look at other people's ads or you look at other people's marketing and you're trying to create your own ads or marketing material, the way that I recommend you look at this is not to go, ah, there's an ad that I love. I'm going to create something like that. The way that I recommend you look at it is you find an ad that you like and that you think is doing well for that company. And then you say, great, how can I do better? That's how I always approach ads or marketing or anything that I'm creating if I see something that I like. Because if you set the bar, if your goal is to create something similar to an example that you love, then in most cases you're going to get somewhere around here. You're not going to create something as good. Best case, if you're shooting to create something similar to what they've created, then best case is you're going to create something just as good and you're going to be essentially on the same level. That's not what you want to aim for. Take it as, I see this, this is great, I wanna create something way better. Look at that ad, look at that marketing material, whatever it is, and think to yourself, how can I take this and improve on it, make it even better? So we're not just taking inspiration, turning it into our own, we're taking inspiration, we're looking at other sources of inspiration and thinking, well, how can I take this, maybe use a bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that, or my own original ideas added on top to make this even better. That's how you'll get in front of the competition and not always be trailing behind or equal at best. So I love looking at examples, I love looking at ideas, I love looking at inspiration, but just remember always aim to go better, never shoot for the same. Now, if you wanna make your ad copy much better, make sure you check out this video next. It's like the 80-20 of ad copywriting. I'll show you how to really quickly and easily improve your ad copywriting, even if you've got no idea what you're doing at all. This is like the easy button for ad copy. It's, it's the things that are quick and easy to change, but have the biggest impact. Check it out now, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.